Okay, there you go. All right. So, single wrap goes through like this, and then we take each end, fold it flat. And see how I've made it nice and close to the uh, turn barrel and the cable? You don't want a big loop here. Okay, you bring it down, and then you have to wrap it around a minimum of four turns. One full turn, two full turns, three full turns, four. I always do an extra one just for fun. Because then no one can say, well, you didn't get quite four there. It's only three and a half. And when you cut it, Ideally, you want to cut it so you don't snag anybody, right? If this is behind, up behind a control column, you got to reach your hand and it's tight quarters in there. Then you leave it like that. And I'm going to take the front of my forearm and I'm going to drag it across that. I'm going to bleed. I will be grumpy. So will you be. We don't want that. So I usually cut it just before the wire that goes along the axis of the cable here. I take the duck bills, give it a little squeeze. See how nice that is? I can run my hand along that all day. Nothing's going to get snagged. There's no giant loop here sticking out so it won't snag on anything in the airplane. So I do the same thing on this side. Bring it in nice and snug. I'm going to cut this shorter so I don't cut Kyle. Thanks, Dave. No problem. So one, two, three, four, and another. Fun. Okay. So again. So that's perfectly acceptable. It's exactly as per the book. So the joy of this is once you've done this one, you've really done half of a double wrap spiral. And that's the one I'll show you next. Oh, cut this one off. Do the same thing. It's, it's easier for you to reach that one. Yeah. Anybody have any questions about that one? How it works? Yeah, there's pictures of it in your book. There's pictures of it hung on the wall downstairs. More tippy. Ow, stabbed myself. Try not to bleed. I almost stabbed myself there. Okay, the double wrap spiral, they asked for 041 lock wire. So a little harder to use. Because it's a double wrap spiral, so it's almost the same thing as you just did, but you're gonna have two wraps going through. One of the mistakes that people make the most when they do the double wrap spiral, when you put it in just like the single wrap spiral, you send one piece of lock wire each direction. Some people say, oh, well, I'll do it this way. That is not as per AC43. You're sending one piece of lock wire each direction because this does two things. A, when you put it all together like this, it keeps the turn barrel from rotating. But also, if this turn barrel were to break, the lock wire being 041, you've got two strands, it will hold this together. Your ailerons will be sloppy, but it might get you to the ground. So that's why you want a piece going each direction. So I'm going to put another one through. So 
So you see how I have a wire coming in, wires going in here, down through here, out through here, wires coming in here, down through here, out through here. That's exactly what you're looking for. Now you can do a double wrap, just pull it straight like this. I personally, when I do double wrap, I think it looks really nice to do what we call the double wrap spiral. And I just twist it around like that. Makes it look really nice. Less chance of it looping and catching on something. It does take, because it's 40 thou, there's a little more effort is required. Oh, sorry. We get it nice and snug and close. Notice how when I'm pulling on that, I'm supporting it. So I'm pulling towards me, I'm holding it there. Don't just start reefing on this, because you will bend those ends. Okay, so now when you're gonna make your wraps at the end, take one of the legs and wrap it underneath, and you're gonna wrap on top. Minimum four. So there's one, two, three, four. I always do one more just for fun. I probably did two for fun. How's your safety glasses? <laughs> <laughs> nice and safe in my office. <clears throat> okay, so I've wrapped four turns with that one. I've still got this one strand here. So I'll bring it back and I'll wrap another four. <coughs> or five, whatever. Four and a half. Okay, everybody see how that works? You do the same thing on the other end. Do you need to see me do the other end? It's the same as this end? Some say yes. Okay. All right. So I like doing the... All right, I'll do the other style. So the other style just goes straight. It's not a wrap. It's just the double strand here. Shoulder just went crunch. <laughs> Don't get old, it sucks. <laughs> I think some of them are full of baloney. You know this is being recorded, eh? For <laughs> so I'm not saying anything. No. <laughs> All right, so fold one leg down, take the other leg, start your wraps. Minimum four turns. I always cut it just before the other wire there. So when I tuck it in. No, you don't tuck it underneath, just beside. Yeah. So you still got the other leg sticking out. So now you'll wrap that one. All right, so I see how that turned out. That turned out pretty good. You notice that the wires are wrapped fairly close together, not great big gaps. That's not perfect, but it's nicer than the one in the book, so that yeah, works for me. Does it matter if we wrap it? 
Doesn't matter if you walk wrap it clockwise, counterclockwise. Doesn't make a difference. I think the book shows one going clockwise, one going counterclockwise. Okay. So this is not a not an all day job or shouldn't be. Like I mean, I did it in what? 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes there? Something like some people will some people will not be able to accomplish this in two and a half hours. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> oh yeah, you can stop the recording. <laughs>